Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson two of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. All right, so we've got this boy who's traveling on a bicycle, and we know that he's starting to slow down. Eventually, he's going to slow all the way to a stop. So when I'm working with a physics problem, one of the things I really like to do is basically look at what I have, what I know already, and where I'm trying to get to. And then I want to see how I can relate those in an equation with the equations I know. So what do we know? Well, we know, first of all, what the initial velocity is, right? We know he's traveling at five meters per second. We also know what the final velocity is. We know that by the end of the problem, he'll be stopped. In other words, he'll be traveling at zero meters per second. And finally, we know his acceleration. In other words, we know the rate at which he's slowing down, which is 2.5. So remember, acceleration, we're used to thinking of it like in races, like in cars, we're used to thinking of it as speeding up. Acceleration can also be slowing down. It's just negative acceleration. So those are some of the values we know. And what I'm trying to find is how long it takes for him to get from here to here. In other words, we're looking for time. So do I know an equation that relates these things? Absolutely, I do. And that equation is this. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Now, if I were to plug all of these in, I know that basically I'd have a zero on this side. Zero equals five was my initial plus negative 2.5 times t. I subtract, end up with negative five on this side. Then I divide both sides by negative 2.5. And I won't write that all out for the sake of time, but we end up with t equals two. Just some algebra, just some basic numbers crunching. And that gives us our final answer. Now, something to think about. If you're that person who doesn't like having the all the equations memorized, I will tell you this, it's important to memorize them. They're going to be really important on the MCAT. But if you do get to this problem and you're like, oh man, like I don't remember the equation. I'm totally shot. What am I going to do? Well, how can we think this through? Let's calm down. Let's talk about it. If we know that he's traveling at five meters per second, and that every second he gets 2.5 meters per second slower, if that's his acceleration. Well, after one second, if he's 2.5 meters per second slower, his new speed is 2.5 meters per second. Then after a second second, still slowing down at that same rate, 2.5 minus 2.5, that's zero. And so we can figure out one, two, two seconds. We can get the same answer that way as well. So if you forget the equation, don't stress out, you can still think your way through it. Let's go ahead and check that answer, make sure I'm telling you guys the truth. Let's click two seconds here. Perfect, awesome. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We look forward to chatting with you and talking about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time.